What up, Sailor Senji? I am Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel and today's Sailor Moon store unboxing video of brand new items that you could only find at the Sailor Moon store. So obviously I have not gone to Japan this year, which is very unfortunate. I wish I could because I love going to Japan. It's so much fun. But I do have a proxy shipper that I purchase things from from Tokyo, Japan. They end up going to all of these physical stores that don't sell anything online and they end end up purchasing items for me at a commissioned rate and then shipping them overseas to America. So in this episode of the Sailor Snubs video series about Sailor Moon, I have a huge package of items that I received from the Sailor Moon store as well as a few items from the Q-Pot collaboration from the cafe and there's a few items from Princess One Spoon and I think that's everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the package and see if I can kind of coordinate as far as which store they are from. And if you are interested in any of the pricing down below, I will put a link to everything from the Sailor Moon official website too, so you can see the original prices. Now, obviously, depending on which proxy buyer you purchase from, prices will differ depending on their percentage in their commission rate and then how much they charge for shipping. And I really appreciate that somebody over in Tokyo, Japan is willing to go to all of these stores for us in America. It's really helpful because a lot of items we just can't get over here overseas unless we pay exorbitant prices on eBay. So this is totally random, but I just had to get the door because I received a package and I know exactly what's in this package. So I'm gonna open it on air. We're doing it live. We're doing it live. It's gonna go great. There will be no demo fails. Praise the demo gods. It's the rainbow moon chalice. Yay! So. I will uh, unbox this on a different video because this one's about something completely different, but I'm super excited about this. So yay, thank you UPS for delivering that so quickly. You're amazing. On to my gigantic box of things. So the first item uh, in this box is going to be the items from Qpot. Uh. Oh, Frappuccino. So I'm gonna do a whole other video about the Qpot collaboration line and all the items that I purchased from them. So I'm not gonna cover these in a lot of detail, but I will show them to you real quick. So the first item that I received is this super cute Usagi acrylic stand, which you have to punch out yourself and stand it up yourself, but it features Usagi in a really cute outfit. And she's also featured holding a couple of different desserts, just like Qpot. And she has the Qpot colors on, so it's very cute. I also got an insulated cooler bag which features Usagi in the same way on the front of it so this is a nice big cooler bag that I can bring to work for lunches or whatever and then I got a couple of items that were only available through the Qpot cafe so the first one of these is a eternal sailor moon coaster so you had to purchase a very special drink to be able to get the coaster and the second item that I decided to purchase was the eternal sailor moon plate so this plate was only, I believe you had to purchase a dessert to buy the plate. And this one features Eternal Sailor Moon's Fuku. They are doing a second version of this plate with tuxedo mask on it. You will have a uh, pairing of plates, if you will. Uh, I think they look really pretty together and I don't know if they're machine washable or not, so I probably won't even use them. I'll probably just display them together once the second one comes in. But those are the items from Qpot real quick and just make sure to check out my Sailor Snubs YouTube channel if you wanna see my whole breakdown of all the different Qpot items that I received this year. So I think the next thing I'm gonna get out of this box will be I'll do the princess one spoon item since there's only a few of those that I decided to go for okay so from princess one spoon which princess one spoon is a store that's over in Tokyo Japan and they feature a whole bunch of like Disney collaborations and princess collaborations so you can find a whole bunch of really cute stuff there if you're into like the whole feminine princessy vibe but they did do a collaboration with Sailor Moon that is currently still going on so the first thing that I received is this really pretty scarf I do already have one of the other princess one spoon scarves right here but this is the second one and this features it's basically like a princess serenity print on it and if I open this yay it's Christmas I'm so excited, I love Christmas. All Ooh, it's so pretty. So it's got a silver crystal in the center in the flower form, and then it has a bunch of bows and ribbons and crescent moons all over it. So yeah, that's really pretty. Yay, scarves. I also received this Luna and Artemis drawstring pouch, which I thought was 
so adorable. I just really like the print on this. I love the color because I love purple and I like how big it was too. So I just decided to get this because I thought it was cute. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet, but that's okay. I love it. The third item from Princess One Spoon is this really pretty and fairly large pouch. It's like a wallet purse. Uh, so this features a crescent moon, a very heavy crescent moon with a little uh, faux pearl on the side for the zipper. If you open it, on the inside, there's a pretty print that includes all the silhouettes of the inner Sailor Senshi in pink. And then it has tons and tons of rooms for cards and stuff like that. And the front looks like it's big enough to fit a cell phone. And it also features a shoulder strap too, which is really cool. Uh, so this is a really pretty, really big, like just the perfect size wallet purse that you can take with you on like a day trip or something like that if you don't intend to do something like over a long weekend or something where you need to pack a lot more stuff so this is really great to like i don't know i could take this with me shopping or something and i like the little sailor moon fuku design on the front it's really pretty and the last item that i decided to get from princess one spoon is this very pretty sailor moon eyeglass case so this features again it's the princess serenity design on here and if you open it there's nothing on the inside there's no print or anything but on the back it says the moonlight is a messenger of love i do have another one of the princess one spoon designs too so now i have the sailor moon one and i have the princess serenity one. I don't think the Sailor Moon one came with anything special either. No, it didn't. But this is the perfect size for this size of glasses. So if you have like American made eyeglasses that are pretty thin, then th those can fit in here. I know they fit really well too. And they're a hard case too, so they won't damage your glasses, which is really nice. So they do have a bunch of other designs too for all of the inner Sailor Senshi. So if you're looking for a specific one or if you collect a specific one, you could totally get this eyeglass case for that specific one. All right, I believe that's everything from Princess One Spoon. So everything else that I got in this box is from the Sailor Moon store. So I don't really have like a way that I'm gonna jump into this box really and keep it organized. So I'm just gonna like grab whatever's at the top and go from there and it's gonna be super fun. So the first item in this grouping, oh, I know what these are. So sometimes the Sailor Moon store decides to resell items from previous collaborations if they still have inventory. And in this case, I was able to get a whole slew of the Sailor Moon Cafe uh, keychains because I've been trying to collect all of those. And these are blind bagged, so I'm gonna open them real quick and hopefully I didn't get any duplicates that I already have. Now the ones that I already have are, let's see, I have Sailor Pluto, Neptune, Mar, no, I have Pluto, Neptune, Jupiter, and Mercury, and that's it. Okay. Okay, so the first one that I got, oh, I think it's Mars. <gasps> Yay, it's Mars. Okay, awesome. So the first one that I received in this package is Sailor Mars, and I'll get a close-up shot of that. She's super pretty, and it's not a duplicate, which is wonderful. Yay. The next one that I received is Saturn. So Saturn is one of my favorite characters. Again, not a duplicate, which I'm very, very pleased about. Awesome. Okay, so far we're good. That's two out of the six that I ordered. Pluto, okay, this one is a duplicate, so hopefully I can find somebody to trade with or I can just resell it online. Come on, don't be a dupe. Come on, don't be a dupe. Jupiter, okay, that's another dupe. I got another duplicate. I could really use Sailor Moon. Another Pluto, man. And Neptune, all right. So I got two new ones and I got four dupes. So I will have to find a way to trade these online. Hopefully I can trade <laughs> with some people. Oh man, I was hoping for more of the, the other ones that I don't have yet, but I'll just have to find them online. So these two are really pretty though. They're beautiful. I am very, very happy that I got Hotaru and Sailor Mars, which are two of my favorite characters. I love, love, love these. All right, and the next items that I received are a series of cute little clips. I might just totally use these for like my potato chip clips because they're so cute. My husband will think it's ridiculous and I don't really care because they're so pretty. But each of these clips features a compact design from Sailor Moon and they are really, really pretty, very glittery and they're quite strong too. So they look really good, but these are basically paper clips. You can stick them at the top of a whole bunch of papers or you can stick them on your chip clips or whatever. On the back of it, it says Moon Crisis Makeup. I wonder if all of them say that. Moon Prison Power Makeup. Oh, cool. So I guess it's designed based on the, based on the, the brooch. This one says Cosmic Power Makeup. 
This one says Moon Crisis Makeup. And then this last one says Moon Crystal Power Makeup. That's cute. I like these. It's a shame they didn't have the Eternal uh, compact design, which would been would have been really cool. But they do have Chibi Moon, which is really cute. So that's adorable. I like them. These are really, really pretty. So I'm very happy that I received these. All right, so these were just announced like a couple of weeks ago. So this is one of the brand new items that was available at the Sailor Moon store. These are candy charms. So I decided to get the Sailor Mars because she's one of my favorites. The Sailor Mars candy charm and it's red and purple just like Sailor Mars's colors. It was only available at the Sailor Moon store. And since it's a candy charm, it's one of those things that you can put on like your purse. But you know your girl, she likes to get at least one item from each collaboration because that's how I roll. Okay, so now that we have it opened, it smells hecka weird. Wow, that smells like nail polish remover. I should really stop sniffing that. I'm gonna get high. Okay, so this is the Sailor Mars candy charm. It's really cute. It looks like a lollipop. It does not taste like a lollipop. It tastes disgusting. Ugh. It's like bitter. Gross. But yeah, it's a very cute little charm. It's small, it's not super huge or anything, and it does have a little buckle so that you can unbuckle this part and take it off and then you can loop it around whatever item you wanna hang this from. Very pretty, I like it. Next item, this is the Sailor Moon 10Q collaboration, a mug that was featured at this really cool exhibition that I was not able to go to, uh, but happened in Tokyo. In this case, for this mug, it just says Sailor Moon 10Q on the front, and then it has all of the different Sailor Senshi signs around it, and it looks like they're hanging from pretty chains. Uh, it is a gold foil design, so it kind of matches with the Q-Pot ones as well, and it's slightly larger, not too much bigger than the Q-Pot design mugs. Okay, so the next items that I'm gonna break into will be these. So the first item I have is the Sailor Moon Valentine's Day towel. This is a very cute little hand towel that was featured during Valentine's Day, but it was still in stock, so I decided to get one. I really love the heart shape of this, and I like the design on the front. It's one of those classic Naoko Takeuchi manga designs, so of course I couldn't pass it up, and it's very, very pretty, and it's nice and big, too. This, I believe, is... is this a tenugui? No, it's not. I think it's just a handkerchief. I'm gonna open it. Yeah, it's a simple little handkerchief. So this handkerchief is just available at the Sailor Moon store, hence the Sailor Moon store at the top. And it features, we have the Eternal Moon Compact there. We have the pen. We have some of the other brooches. We have the rainbow chalice and we have the moon stick up at the top. So a bunch of the different items on there that are very classic Sailor Moon. This one I really wanted because I like tenuguis. This one is a tenugui. So this was only available at the Sailor Moon store and it features silhouettes of the inner Sailor Senshi. It is very, very thin. It's very soft too, which is nice. It's a Sailor Moon store on it, and it just features a couple of colors. So very, very pretty Tenugui. This will be really, really good to display somewhere, so I might use it on one of these bookshelves underneath some of the items that I am displaying. All right, so this next item was slightly pricier, but I believe this is silk. It's a scarf that was available on the blue side of the Sailor Moon store. And wow, this is beautiful. I love the feathers that are all along there. I love the cute little Chibi Moon accents. It also features one of the uh, the Kaleida Moon Scope, and then it has one of the compacts all around the corners. Oh, it has two different compacts, so that's cool. The Chibi Moon one and the Sailor Moon one. So this is very, very pretty. I really like this design on here. And that is a really, really pretty scarf. I also like that it's silk, so it's really, really soft material. It feels really good. It's nice and thin too, so it's perfect for the summertime. It's a very good one. So if you do get a chance to grab this uh, either online or through the Sailor Moon store, I would definitely get one before they sell out. Okay, and then I have a couple other boxed goods before I get into some fabric-y type of goods that I also received from the Sailor Moon store. This first one is the Sailor Moon Classic Concert. Uh, I think this is the this is the 2017 album. So this is the 25th anniversary Classic Concert album, uh, which was only available in Japan. However, you can probably find it on 
on iTunes as well. I did want the physical disc because I don't use iTunes, but I also wanted to get the copy of, you know, all the art that is available on this disc, as well as see everything that's included on the inside too. And then I'll just burn MP3s because that's how I roll. But it looks like on the back we have some background music. There's Heart Moving, um, Moon Revenge, Moon Pride is on here. Um, My Friend's Love, I don't know what that one is. I'll probably recognize it when I listen to it, but a lot of these songs are recognizable. So this will be really fun to listen to. I can't wait to listen to it. I love instrumentals. I love them so much. So I'm really excited to listen to this and I'm glad that it was in stock at the Sailor Moon store. And the next item, ooh, oh, that's pretty. That's cool. It's got kind of a pretty pearlescent sheen to it. Anyway, this is an icy card case. I do have another icy card case that I had ordered previously through, I think it was like eBay or something, but this one I really wanted because it comes with that cute little moonstick charm too. Uh, but this will go like on my purse, for example, and I can pull it out whenever I'm getting on the transit bus in the San Francisco Bay Area. Okay, so these next two items were recently announced as well, and both of these are only available Available at the Sailor Moon store. So this first one features a couple of little champagne flutes that feature Sailor Moon designs. They are glass, as you can tell. One of these has a bunch of crystals along it with the silver crystal in the center, and the other one has the Sailor Moon compact in the center along with some crescent moons around it and a pretty bow with some ribbons around it. Uh, both of these are very, very pretty. Oh, that's cute. And the bottoms also have a design. So this one has a crescent moon in pink, and then this one has a crescent moon in blue. That's cute. These are very pretty. I think these would look great with beer in them because I don't drink champagne. I have to figure out how to display these. I might put something inside of them and then stick them up there. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Okay, and lastly for the boxed goods are a couple of plates. And these also were announced on the same day as the champagne flutes. So this first plate, oh, these are so pretty. So this features a pink design. It has a bunch of ribbons on it, as well as the compact. There's a silhouette of Sailor Moon in the center. And then there's a bunch of Sailor Scout uh, signs along the outer edges. I think this is China. It might be China. It feels like China uh, compared to like the Noritake branded items. But let me see the other one, because there's a second one in this box, too. Okay. Oh, this is the Princess Serenity one. So this has the Princess Serenity silhouette, and then it has the silver crystal, and it also has the moon palace, the moon crystal palace, along a couple of the edges. Uh, it looks like it's pretty similar in color to the champagne flutes, too, so these will look really good side by side. Cool. So I will just leave those in the box for now so that I don't break them, because I'm the person that would definitely break these, like, right as I get them out of the box. I don't want that to happen. Oh, look what I found at the bottom. Sweet. So this is from the musical called Le Mouvement Finale. There are a lot of musicals that happen in Japan, and a lot of them are collaborations or they are based on different anime and manga because there's such a huge culture for anime and manga there. Uh, this looks like it was 2,500 yen, which is about 25 bucks, so that's not bad. But this would have been like the program book that was available and sold at the musical. On the front, it features the Sailor Moon Fuku, which was featured in the musical itself. And then on the inside, we have a whole bunch of profiles on the different actresses that were in the show. Yume Takeuchi, there's Hotaru Nomoto. So they have a page for each of the senshi that was in the show, including Sailor Cosmos and Chibi Chibi Moon, which is so, so cute. It looks like two different girls played Chibi Chibi. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, wait, are these the same girl? No, they're different girls. Aw, there's Sailor Galaxia in here. And then there is also the four sailors too, the four bad guy sailors. So you got Aluminum Siren in here, Lead Crow, Iron Mouse, Tin Yanko. <laughs> that's so cool, I love this. Let's see what's in the back too. I'm curious about that. Ooh, there's Tuxedo Mask. So Tuxedo Mask was Yuga Yamato. And then we have a Q and A with, looks like the cast. Whoa, that's a cool picture. Check out this photo. Isn't that gorgeous? So again, this is all the musical cast. All right, so this, 
cute little t-shirt was available in the Sailor Moon store for a short, short period of time. I don't think you can still find it there. I think they are all sold out. I also have this print in another shirt from a different unboxing. I'll show you a comparison. So this one I believe was just available during the birthday celebration and I believe this one was available as just a Sailor Moon store purchase item. So I decided to get both of them. I, I am curious if they're both um, the same kind of design of t-shirt. This one is a really like loose fitting t-shirt. This one probably is too. Let's open it. Oh yeah, this one's the same way. It's a loose fitting t-shirt. It's kind of a shorter cut on there so it's not a super long tee but it should be long enough to hide my beer gut which is great yay i'm excited to wear that it'll be super cool okay we're down to the last three items now all right so this first one was available through sunstar stationery and they resold it through the sailor moon store you could also find it on premium bandai but i decided to get it there since they sold out on premium bandai pretty quickly but this is the correct size for like a tablet for example or maybe some decent sized papers you could stick them in here but it's basically just a stationary holder and it's got a full zipper which is cool and the inside features a really pretty print that includes uh, it looks like all the different wands for the inner senshi to transform into their senshi characters. It says pretty guardian. It says the pretty guardian in a sailor suit, guardian of love and justice, sailor moon. Very cute, I like this. The back of it says pretty guardian sailor moon, Tuki ni kawate o kyo. And then it says the pretty guardian in a sailor suit, guardian of love and justice, sailor moon. And then it has a cute little laser print on the back. I like this. I can't wait to use it. This will be really, really pretty to carry around and, you know, keep different things in. Uh, there's a lot of pockets too. The back has a pocket. The inside just features one very large pocket. And then you have a place to put a long pen, for example, a little notepad maybe. And then there's a little teeny tiny zipper pocket. I don't know, paper clips. Maybe you want to put a paper clip in there. Uh, and then there's a little bit of a smaller pocket too. The pink one has kind of a pearlescent sheen to it too, which is really nice. I don't know if the other colors have that same kind of sheen, but this one is really pretty. So I'm glad that I just chose the pink one instead of like the black one or the brown one. Okay, so this next item was also from 10Q, the 10Q collaboration and exhibition that happened. It's very simple. It's a simple canvas tote bag that features a crescent moon on the front. It also has the 10Q logo for the Sailor Moon collab on there. And the inside is very simple too. There's no extra pockets or anything like that. And it's a pretty chill little black bag. So this will be good for like groceries and stuff like that. And the last one that I chose to receive is this transparent moon cosmic power makeup plastic bag, which still smells like pool toys, again, inflatable pool toys, which I just think is so funny. But uh, I did end up getting a duplicate of this from another seller because I was unsure if they were going to sell out. They ended up selling out of these, so I'm really happy that I got one. I think they might be in stock now, but I really wanted to get one of these for the summertime because I think it's perfect for the beach since it is made out of that plastic material. It's waterproof as long as nothing gets in the top, which is super cool. And it's a really pretty pink color. I just like the transparentness of it. I don't know, it's on trend right now, so I thought it was one of the cooler things that the Sailor Moon store has come out with. It also comes with a drawstring bag. So this is where you can hide anything that you don't want in your transparent bag. So this says Moon Spiral Heart Attack on the front and it has Sailor Moon Store written at the bottom and a couple of purple ribbons so that you can pull it shut whenever you're ready to use it. And that is everything from my Sailor Moon Store shipment from my proxy buyer in Tokyo, Japan. So I was super excited to receive this package because they are all new products or they are from collaborations that were only available in Japan. So they were things that I might have have missed in previous collaborations or they were brand new for this summer. So if you want to see more packages like this from the Sailor Moon store and if you want to see any reviews of any of the products from today, hit up the comments and let me know. I do keep track of those so I have a bunch of ideas for future videos and don't forget to subscribe so that you can see that 500 subscriber giveaway. I'm super excited about that too. Make sure to like this video and again I'm Sailor Snubs and I will see you next time. Jane.